Good morning, everybody. Today is the ninth day of the month of Av. It's a fast day. Nobody likes fasting, even rabbis. But it's an important day, and as I said yesterday, it's an important day to really feel part of the collective nation of Israel. And I don't just mean the Jewish people today, but I mean the Jewish people throughout 3,000 years of Jewish history. And to feel the pain and to be part of that pain, and to go through the experience together with all of Jewish history. But in a strange way, today is also, there's an aspect, a little aspect of celebration on this day. Now, it doesn't manifest itself in obvious and open ways, in very, very subtle ways, it does. But what's happy about today? What could possibly be good about the ninth of Av, the day that the first temple was destroyed by the Babylonians and the second temple was destroyed by the Romans and the day that the decree was signed for the Jews to be expelled from Spain and on and on, so many different things that the Jewish people have experienced. What could be good about it? So there's a tradition, a Jewish tradition, that the Mashiach, the Messiah, the Redeemer of Israel, who is destined to come in the end of history, and to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem, and to regather in the exiles, and to restore not only the Jewish commonwealth, but the world to the place of beauty and peace and camaraderie and oneness among the nations. That Mashiach, that Messiah, according to Jewish tradition, will be born, or hopefully already was born, on what day? The ninth day of the month of Av. The Messiah's birthday is Tisha B'Av. Why is that? I think the message is that this is not a day of utter despair. Jews don't despair. We may be sad, we may mourn, but our mourning is constructive. It's not despair. We mourn because we have hope. We hold on to a hope that we've held on to for thousands of years that the world is not the way it's supposed to be and it can be better and it ultimately will be better. And it's that hope and that passionate dream that we have had which has basically fueled every utopian society in the last hundred years. Communism, everything has been fueled by Jewish, a Jewish utopian vision. You understand? And that is the, the hope of Tisha B'Av. So on Tisha B'Av, we're sad and we're mourning, but we're not in despair. It's a sadness, but it's a sadness of hope. It's a sadness where we long and yearn for a better future that we know we are destined to see as human beings and as a Jewish nation. So uh, I hope everybody can find the, the sweetness in the day of sadness of Tisha B'Av. There's a great story that I want to tell you that there was once a, a, a Hasidic rabbi. Now the Hasidic rabbis were known for celebrating their Judaism, for being joyful in their service of God. So one day on the ninth of Av, the, uh, this Hasidic rabbi was alone and he was in his study and his Hasidim, his disciples, his students came in and they opened up the door. They heard some dancing and singing and they opened up the door and they found their rabbi dancing and singing on Tisha B'Av, on the day of mourning for the Jewish people. So they said, Rabbi, Rabbi, what's going on? Why are you dancing? Why are you celebrating? So the rabbi said, is there a mitzvah or is there not a mitzvah? to mourn on Tisha B'Av. So the student said, of course, Rabbi, there's a mitzvah to mourn on Tisha B'Av. And the rabbi said, are we not told, and does, does our tradition not teach us, that we should do and perform all of our mitzvahs, all of our mitzvahs with joy? And the student said, of course, we should perform all of our mitzvahs with joy. So he said, that's what I'm doing. I'm performing the mitzvah of mourning on the ninth day of Av with joy. Think about that one. It might take a while to sink in. Okay, we'll talk more tomorrow.